This time we stayed at Magnolia Ridge Park in Woodville, Texas, and it's about two hours northeast of Houston. Campsites are all along the Steinhagen Lake. This is a United States Army Corps of Engineers campground. We paid $9 a night for it, and it was very unique because of the cypress trees. We felt like we were in the bayou. We're Dave and Karen from Watts on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. Like most Army Corps of Engineers campgrounds, it's way off the beaten track. extremely long site here. It has an extra loop off to the side for more vehicles. And it has a little fire pit and a covered picnic area. And we got these really cool cypress trees out here in the water behind us. 50 amp water. We'll have to use the dump station on the way out. $9 a night, which is half price because we have a senior lifetime discount card. <laughs> The map on recreation.gov and Google Earth are really not correct. So they don't give you a map, but this is the best one I've seen. Where when you come in down here at the gatehouse, all the campgrounds are out this way. And all the way in the back, and there's a separate little loop way in the back. They do have this other side road here. There's nothing there, it's 20 miles per hour, but it gets you around a lot quicker than coming through the camping area. And we are in Site 21. Coming out of our door, this is our view. What do you think, Dave? I think it's most excellent. Definitely different than any of the other Army Corps campgrounds that we've been at. Yeah, when you see a cypress swamp. Yeah. But I have seen boats go up and down here. They don't know where they're going. And that's the closest camper from uh, this side. Yeah, on this side. And then we got neighbors over here. This is right across the street from us. And they have several of these throughout the park. And it, it is a Magnolia Ridge trail map. Mm -hmm. The trail meandered through the, what amounts to just a remnant of the old growth hardwood forest that once covered this unique area. The trail system consists of one loop, three interconnecting trail segments. There's a red one, which is a pond loop, green one, Magnolia Trail. Walnut Trail, blue, Beach Trail's orange. That is pretty cool. 
We are across from the Walnut Trail. And the Round Top Loop. Oh, and there's this Palm Trail. The All Interconnects. I'll just take a little walk through here and see what it's like. See what nature looks like. Oh, this is pretty cool. There's your firewood. So they got these little arrows to make sure you don't get lost. Well, I'd be a great place to walk your puppy dog. Oh, yeah, would be. My son keeps this nice and level and clean and yeah. graded. Just driving up the road along the reservoir here. Most of these sites are pretty long. Yeah. Look at all the rubber space rubber. between them and the next person. <laughs> You gotta know where you're going taking your boat through there. To get out to the lake, you know? Yeah. This only has, I think, 41 sites. They're all 30 amp, 50 amp, and water. None of them have a sewer hookup. But they have a dump station. Now this one's a little shorter here at 28. Never seen this kind of a seen her yet at Army Corps before. It's almost kind of crazy, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I can imagine the summertime. This is probably just beautiful. In between the mosquitoes. Yeah. I originally wanted to get in 34 as it is the only pull through. And that way all your windows along the side have a view of the water. Yeah. yeah, it definitely yeah. would be long. It's like a hundred and some feet. That'd be sweet. Yeah. And come up to the stop here. Let's go to site 37 to 41. And they're oh. very remote. Now when you get up here, you'll see this yellow marker. I don't know what you call that. The whole wall. <laughs> Floating buoy. Floating. Yeah, a long one. Keeps people with their boats out of the cypress. Yeah. It provides you the direction to get out to the main water. Isn't this cool? Like Jurassic Park. <laughs> so it looks like you gotta know how to squeeze through here to get out to the main water, doesn't it? Looks like an extremely shallow lake. What this says. Lake water level varies. Watch for obstruction. Fish consumption advisory exists for the water body of adjacent areas. Boat ramp loading, unloading, only no wake zone, idle speed, overhead power lines across the lake. More secluded further down this road as you keep going. I like this one. No one around. You're it. <laughs> But there's a couple of more spot, spots there. A couple short spots down here. Uh-huh. I mean, look how, look at this. Amazing. Oh, yeah. So there's a little spot here. So this is probably 41. Yeah, 41. Yeah, and 40. So these three are up here all on their lonesome. Go take a look. Okay. Yeah, they've got the old freeze your butt off metal toilets. One little sink and a blower for your hands. And then through this door we have two showers, a small one, push button, one temperature. Dave said it's not hot like he likes it, but it's doable. He has to keep hitting the button. This is pretty uh, old and rustic. They got two in this one. This is the handicapped one. And outside of it they have a bench and some hooks for a dressing area. Doable. For a campground, not a resort. 
And they got a pavilion here. So those are some more day use areas over here. The picnic wow. tables and they got a little sand. Wow. Volleyball. Wow. So this is a kids fishing pond that they have here. Little picnic tables and such. Catfish and rainbow trout. Really? That's Neat. what it says. There's another trail right over here by the fishing pond. This is where the close campers are. But here's your boat ramp up here. This is the main one. Got a little clean shot getting out there. Yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got a fast one. How are you doing? Looks like 21. Hey, that's why it's on wheels. They got the, look at the flag and all, man. Mm -hmm. Dave, what do you know about the fire ants? They're big here. There's a lot of them. Uh, yeah. They even have it on their the website. Well, there's one thing Texas knows how to grow, and it's fire ants. <laughs> we have a nice area out here. Yeah. Well, you sprayed, so hopefully that'll help. Magnolia Ridge Park is a year-round United States Army Corps of Engineers campground that offers 41 reservable campsites. 39 of them have water and electric hookups. Other facilities include a group day-use picnic shelter and group overnight shelter, both with electric hookups. We also have flush toilets, showers, and a dump station. It's on the Steinhagen Lake, which lies in the heart of the East Texas Piney Woods, a beautiful region known for its pine uplands, bottomland hardwoods, and pine hardwood mixed forests, which provides habitat for a wide range of wildlife. White-tailed deer, squirrels, rabbits, red and gray fox, bobwhite quail, and numerous species of ducks, geese, waterfowl, and singbirds make their home in that area. Steinhagen Lake is a prime location for boating, canoeing, fishing, and wildlife viewing. Several parks with boat ramps and docks are scattered around the lake, including facilities within the Magnolia Ridge. Fishing is a popular pastime. Largemouth bass, catfish, and crappie are the primary sport species found in the lake. Younger anglers can use the kids' fish pond within Magnolia Ridge, and Kids' Fish Day is held annually in June. The road system within Magnolia Ridge Park offers excellent family biking opportunities for three to five mile rides. Playground is also located on site. Activities in the area include hunting, hiking, fishing, camping, boating, and biking. Amenities at the park include two boat ramps, a dump station, because there are no sewer hookups, an entrance station, flush toilets, picnic shelters, playground, 1530 amp electricity hookup, and water hookup. Nearby attractions include the Angelina Neches Dam B Wildlife Management Area, covering nearly 13,000 acres. The area boasts beautiful, mature hardwoods, including cypress, sweet gum, and red and water oak. Visitors have the opportunity to hunt, fish, bike, and view wildlife in this extraordinary ecosystem. We felt like we were in the bayou with all the cypress trees. Also, you may need to know that fire ants are present in this park and you don't want to disturb the mound. We recommend that you spray your site before you set up. The park entrance gate closes nightly. Campers may exit, but vehicles cannot be driven back into the park until morning. Off-road vehicles are not permitted, including golf carts and all unregistered non-street legal vehicles. Standard electric sites are $18 a night, but if you have your senior pass, we only paid $9 a night. Guest reviews give this park a 4.8 and the mobile coverage is about a 3.3, so they have pretty good coverage there. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, either this just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.